y'all today I'm gonna show you a mega thrift haul from my favorite thrift sale here on the Mississippi Gulf Coast where I live my Humane Society in Gulfport Mississippi has a little thrift store inside all proceeds go to the animals and monthly they run a $10 bag sale I got two bags this time I just spent 20 bucks and I got 43 items there's a lot to go through, so I'm going to go quick. I do have intentions on listing every single item on my reselling platforms, and I'll link them all below. But yeah, these are a lot of bread and butter items. This sale is a great opportunity for me to purchase a lot of items for really cheap, and I always usually make my money back in 24 hours. So let's jump into the haul. Let me show you what I got. Okay, so this is going to be one of my favorite items. This is like a gray, uh, a green, not a gray, like a green kind of knit dress, but let me show you. It's Kooji. Now, I'm not sure how much Kooji dresses go for. Um, a lot of this stuff I plan on listing around the $20 mark. I think I should be able to get at least $30 for this. I was kind of thinking about keeping it, but I tried it on. It was too big for me. But yeah, I was super excited to get Kooji at the back sale. I got a Columbia Zip Up Fleece Jacket. And I'll show you the size. This is a size extra large. And I think it's definitely a women's extra large. And I should be able to get around $25 for this. I don't pick up a ton of J. Crew, and this is J. Crew and not J. Crew Factory, but I thought this was kind of a fun style. Uh, it's like a cream color. It has a pocket there and it has some stripes on the sleeve. So if I get 20 for this, I'll be happy. So usually I get a lot of new at tags item at this bag sale, um, but this day I was really late getting to the sale, so I only got a few things that were new at the tags. This is one of them, it's Land's End, and I liked these because they were corduroy, just pants, just like a pair of corduroy khakis. And these are in a size 18, hoping to get at least 25 for these. Here's a brand I do like to pick up. Uh, this is J. Jill, and this is the Wherever Collection. And this is just a black and white, just like a long sleeve, or probably more of a three-quarter. Yeah, this is more of a three-quarter sleeve shirt, but I should be able to get 20 for this. I did find a theory dress and this is a size four and it's just a black dress but then down here at the bottom if you can see it has like these pleats so anyway I just thought that was kind of different um I only have found a theory I think once or twice before at least in a dress the dress I do have it's just sitting it's really basic so even if I get 25 for this, I'll be happy. I don't get too excited when I see theory anymore. So I didn't know if I wanted to keep this or sell it. I have decided to go ahead and sell it. Uh, it's a really cute top. It has a lot of cutouts. It kind of even has like a little peplum thing going down here. And let me show you who it's by. It is Free People. We all know that tag. And this is a size medium. So this, uh, again... 20 bucks and I'll be happy. So I know there's a lot of people out there who do not like to pick up this brand to resell, but I have good luck with it. And I picked up a few pieces uh, by this brand, BCBG Maxazria. And this is a green dress and it has like a drop waist. It is missing the belt. There's like these little belt loops here. I think I'm just gonna cut those off or maybe just disclose it. And it is a maxi length dress, so I'm hoping I can get at least 35 for this. So this is a brand I've only picked up one other time, and I believe it's pronounced COS, or maybe it's C-O-S. This is a size medium, and this is kind of an expensive brand, y'all, but I really liked the style. It's very preppy looking. So I decided to give this a shot and maybe I can list it for around 25. All right, here is an anthropology brand. It's tiny and I really loved the animal print. It's just a little button down and I'm hoping to get at least 25 for this. I thought it was cute. All right, here's another BCBG Max Azria and this one is a formal dress and I think this one will do well. I think it's really pretty, it's black. And it's really sleek. I don't know. I think it's cute. I'm going to try around 50 for this. Y'all know I have really good luck selling linen. 
And I do like to pick up this brand sometimes, Lauren Ralph Lauren or Lauren Ralph Lauren, however you want to pronounce it. It's just like a button down blazer, kind of in like this tan color, khaki color. So I'm hoping to get at least 30, maybe 35 for this one. I only picked up this piece because I really liked the style and I think it will sell um, with the Christmas coming up. I don't sell a lot of this. This is Crown and Ivy, but I thought it was really cute. It's just a little sweater. It says, let it snow. And then at the bottom, it has kind of like a plaid gingham print. So I don't know. I thought that was cute. It may only sell for like 15, but I think it will sell. Okay. Here's a brand I don't pick up a lot and I see it a lot at my thrift store. So I am able to be really picky with what I picked up, but of course for like 50 cents a piece, I'm going to pick this up. It's really pretty. So can you guess who it is? Ton of really pretty embroidery. Has the bell sleeves here. Kind of has, it looks like maybe a pull. I just saw that. Kind of like a pull in the sleeve. Anyway, this is a tunic top. Let me show you the tag. It's by Umji. So I'm hoping I can get at least around 15 or 20 for this. I think it'll sell just based on style. It's really pretty. I always pick up Victoria's Secret whenever I'm at the bag sale. When I see it, I have a great sell-through rate with Victoria's Secret. And this is a silk little slip. And I've sold these before for like 20, 25 bucks. They sell pretty quickly. So I definitely grabbed this. It took no space up in my bag. Okay, we're gonna go down to the floor and I'm gonna show you some of the other stuff I have folded up underneath my rack. So this is Victoria's Secret, just a cute little bra, probably $15, $20 for this. I really like how uh, it has a spell out here. Here's another Victoria's Secret. This is a little bathing suit top. I should be able to get at least $15 for that one as well. And here is another Victoria's Secret top. And actually, these are my favorite bras by them. I don't know what this band is called, but it's like, it's like a seamless band. Maybe that's what it's called but it doesn't bunch up or anything. So I think someone will like this. I'll probably mark this closer to 20, 25 maybe. We'll see. All right, back to clothes. I was really excited to find these. This is a pair of Adidas shorts, but it has the Chicago Bulls on the sides of the shorts. I have great luck with Chicago Bulls merchandise. Um, I'm hoping I can get at least 25 for those. And here is lucky brand i picked up a few lucky brand pieces um i try to only pick up lucky brand if it's like embroidered or like really boho looking something like that uh, but i thought this was pretty it has uh that red color which i think people will like for fall so i grabbed that i love to pick up lane bryant when i can get it cheap at the bag sales at goodwill bins uh, it just always sells and i believe this is yes this is a dress just a black and white, like A-line dress, hoping to get 25 or 30 for that. I got these American Eagle shorts and these, I believe, yeah, these are the next level stretch. That's been a line that I've had, uh, personally, I've had luck selling. Uh, other than that line, I don't have much luck selling American Eagle. And this is a, another Lucky brand just a little striped top and i believe this is linen as well it has the double front pockets hoping honestly if i get 15 or 20 i'll be happy with that okay i did find a pair of not your daughter's jeans and i like these because they're that like elastic waist pull-on jean i have a lot of luck y'all with really any pull-on jeans um i find a lot of liverpool pull on jeans. Those always sell well for me. And anyway, yeah, I just thought these were nice. Um, I haven't looked these up, hoping I can get at least 25 for those. We'll see. So these are BC BG Max Azria. And at first I thought these were silk. Unfortunately, they're not, but they're a really nice like career short. And I know career shorts like this were really popular at the beginning of the year. I don't know if they'll be super popular going into the colder months. Uh, but I wanted to give them a shot because they were in good condition. And again, I have luck with that brand. So I'm hoping to get $30 for those. Here's a brand I kind of sort of have luck with. Um, it does okay. It's cloth and stone and it's a dress. And it has like a built-in choker. 
I think this would be a cute dress for the fall. Then it has the v-neck. It's sleeveless. I don't know. I thought it was cute. So even if I only get 20 for that, I'll be happy. Here's a pair of J. Crew shorts. And they call this the City Fit. And they're just a pair of like striped, kind of like a Bermuda short almost. They're kind of long, probably hit you right above the knees. So I think someone will like those. So I got these, but I didn't realize until I was like folding everything and putting it on the rack that these were flawed. So I'm not sure if I should sell these. Y'all let me know. Let me know what you think. So there's the tag, seven jeans, size 10. If you want these jeans, if you're a viewer out there, I'll sell them to you really cheap because they are flawed. I'll show you right here. They Someone accidentally got bleach on them. So, yeah. I don't know. I If I list these, it'll be for very cheap. All right. I've never heard of this brand, uh, but I threw it in the bag because it looked like it was a good brand. Larkin Row Double uh, XL. I have luck selling polka dots, so... I think just based on style, it'll sell. I'm not probably looking to get more than like maybe $15, uh, but it is a really nice blouse. Here's another pair of J. Crew, and these are called the Cafe Capri, and these are different. They're that red stripe, kind of like a maroon stripe, and then they have like lime green, and yeah, these are definitely a Capri length. I got this strictly based on style, and I have found this brand at the thrift store before. Four. I don't know where it's sold, but I always think it's cute when I see it. So it's like this green top. I think how you wear it is like you wear it off the shoulder. And it has these big puffy green sleeves. If it fits me, I'll probably end up wearing it. But if not, I think it'd be a really cute little Christmas shirt, Thanksgiving shirt. Probably only a 10 or 15 though for this. All right, I did find new with tag um, American Eagle. And you can see the retail price, or does it have the retail price? It does not. Never mind. You cannot see the retail price. It's just like a one shoulder. It has that smocking stretch, cropped peplum top. I really like the colors. So only planning maybe $10, $15 for this one. But because it's new with tags, I did want to pick it up. I, you know, I'm planning for Christmas time, I'm trying to pick up more of that new with tag stuff. Um, same with this. This is another brand. I really only buy new with tags and I only purchase it cheap because even new with tags, it doesn't sell that well. Uh, it's a one shoulder dress and it has this beautiful large sleeve and it kind of has like a floral print on it. Really, really pretty. I would say this is mini length. I think it'll definitely hit you above your knees. Thought that was nice. Probably again, even though it's new at tags, maybe just a 15. This is Lucky Brand, and this is kind of just like, I guess you would call this paisley. Yeah, maybe a paisley sheer long sleeve top. So not expecting much for this. Maybe a 15 if I'm lucky. Oh, I got this for me. I loved this. I'm not a huge fan of tie-dye. It has to be like the right colorway. Orange is my favorite color, and it's my favorite color to wear. And this is just like a cropped, you know, just a cropped shirt with the orange tie-dye. So I'm going to keep that for myself. Here's a pair of Adidas shorts, but I think my husband's going to end up keeping these. Okay, y'all, we are on the last pile. If you have made it through this part of the video, go ahead and leave this emoji in the comments. That way I can make sure to say hi to you. Okay, so this dress right here... I got it purely based on style. I have never heard of this brand before. Um, and this was actually one of the last things I threw in the bag. And it is flawed. Um, because it's white, I believe I can take out the stains. Where is it at? Oh, right here. It's on the tie. Can you see it? It's, I don't know. It kind of looks like makeup. I feel like maybe you're not seeing... It looks worse in person, to be honest with you. Anyway, it's like this very lagging look dress. It has this big, like, poofy bottom down here. It has pockets, I believe. Uh, so anyway, yeah, I think I'm just going to bleach this. And I did look up the brand. I probably can only get, like, $20 for that, so whatever. I don't think I've ever sold this brand before, Chato Yant. 
Uh, I got it based on style. Not exp It kind of has some tie-dye here. Just a t-shirt. Maybe a 15 for that one. Um, I did pick up some North Face shorts. This is called the A5 Series. And it's a women's size 6. And it has the North Face back here. So North Face sells well for me, even if I can only get maybe 20 for those. I did pick up a bathing suit, and I know that a lot of y'all maybe aren't picking up bathing suits, but I am still looking at them. I thought this was a fun one piece. I do have better luck selling one pieces. Uh, I did look up this brand, Carol Wheeler, and a lot of her stuff does sell between $20 and $30. So I feel hopeful I can get around $25.30 for this. This is something I get, I, I want to say I've purchased this at every single one of the Humane Society's bag sales, and I have sold every single piece I've also purchased. They only sell for $20, but let me show you what it is. It's Land's End, and they're just a pair of black pull-up pants, like lounge, casual pull-on pants. They smell amazing. I don't know what laundry detergent this person who donated these is using uh but yeah they smell great they're in great condition so yeah 20 for those i got these based on style for sure uh this is chico's and look how fun these are y'all they just have a lot going on don't they i'm hoping i can get around 25 for these because i think they are so unique um i'm gonna show you this last thing but the more I'm looking at it, the more I'm thinking maybe I should not sell this. It looks really worn. I don't know what was wrong with my eyes. You, can you see that? You can tell there's a lot of wear to that. It's Altered State, which is a brand I honestly, y'all, never really pick up. I thought this was so cute. It's like this sweater dress, this white sweater dress, and it has a drop waist, and it has buttons on the back. I just think there's too much wear, so I may end up donating this. I don't know. What do y'all think? All right, y'all. I hope you enjoyed this huge thrift haul from the bag sale. They will be having another bag sale in about two or three weeks, so I will definitely be hitting it up. Thank you to everyone who watched this video all the way to the end. If you're new here, my name is Alicia. I am a fashion reseller, and I try to post daily here on this YouTube channel. I would love it if you would subscribe and hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. I'll see y'all tomorrow for a fun new video. Bye, y'all.